Think I'm falling down Time to stop for me You worried me yesterday when you took off. Just needed some time to process. I was gonna call Rick. Oh, I'm glad you didn't. I'm sorry. Don't be. Wanna sit? Uh, that's okay. I. I just want to understand. You know that I wish the news was anything but this, right? Terminal? You're sure? Your lungs have been irreversibly compromised. It's probably from an airborne infection that you got when you were living on the mountain. So what happened was it started in your lungs. It went to your bloodstream. And now it's just a matter of time until your lungs cease to function. There's got to be some kind of treatment somewhere. It's a really rare disease. There's no... There's no cure, you know? I mean, what we can do is we can... Uh, we can treat the symptoms, but there is no way that you can stop the spread of the illness. No cure. And that's it. How long? I think we should just concentrate on making you Ed, feel comfortable. Not just my doctor. You're my friend. How long? If I had to guess, no more than three months. I want you to know that I will do everything I can for you. I will call every specialist there is in this field. There's a counselor I know back in Springfield that you should definitely get in touch with. I mean, you should call a lot of people. You should call your family. Uh, get no, their support. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to tell them about this yet. All right, fine then. What about Beth? I mean, she's stood by you ever since you guys were little kids. I mean, she would want to know. Your no. children have a right to know. No. Uh -uh. Then Rick, he is your oldest friend. He would no, want I, 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 to I, I be there you're trying to help, but I, I gotta, I gotta, I just need to think this through for well, what, a little I bit. Well, I mean, we I have can't. to talk about the Ed, treatment. I just, I, I, I gotta get some air. Beautiful day. Hey, hey, you okay? Yeah. Can't believe you can move after yesterday's game. My back is killing me. Uh, well, I am feeling a little out of it. Yeah. I tell you, that's why you got to keep moving. You know, if you keep moving when you're our age, at least you know you're alive. Right, buddy? Yeah. It's true. So you're doing all right? Yeah. Just trying to convince this old geezer to play one more game. Now you should probably knock it off. What do you say? You want to stop by Michelle's tonight? Uh, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm staying. She's actually turned out to be a pretty good cook. I'm 
sure she is. I, I just kind of feel like I should get home. Oh, come on. Just do one more day, buddy. No. One more. No, leave him alone. Leave him alone. He wants to go home, see his family. Anyway, thanks. But, uh, call. Let me know that you get in okay, all right? Okay. We're a great team. <laughs> Take care, Phil. You've never told me to call. Just let you know that I'm okay. Well, I should. Only a few more minutes, Mr. Spaulding. You're almost home. Actually, you know what? Stop. 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 I, um... You want to make another stop first? No, I don't. I want to, I want to walk. The house is a good two miles. It's okay. It was a long flight. I want to stretch my legs. Um, just take the bags on up to the house, and if anybody asks about me, tell them I'll be home soon, okay? Thanks. Whatever you say, Mr. Spaulding. Once we started doing everything ourselves, then things just fell into place. Yeah. And that is great. But if you need anything, we're not going always... to need anything. I did run a multi-million dollar corporation. I think I can handle a small, simple wedding. And I'm here to make sure Lizzie gets everything she wants. Ooh, so I like it's, that. Yeah. Uh, oh, there is something I need you to do. I need you to try on dresses. I chose the colors, and the designer knows that you're going to call. And I just want you to look almost as beautiful. Oh, not possible. Not possible. Oh my goodness, he must have missed me. How was your trip? Uh, good to be home. Ed, well, we were just talking about you. We have almost all of the wedding plans done. Yes, I got the minister. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Lee. Yes, he, he did do that. He did. Uh, he is also going to take care of the taxes. So Bill will let you know where he gets his, and then you can just go there. Okay. And uh, on the wedding day, I'm going to need you to get there a little bit early. Whatever you need. <laughs> I need you to walk me down the aisle. And I know it's super old fashioned, but I feel like it really applies to me because I was your girl and now I'm Bill's girl and I want the whole world to know that. <laughs> Hey, um, I just got a message from the Beacon. Oh. We have to go check out the ballroom. Do that. Okay. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye -bye. <laughs> we'll see ya. Oh, she's going to be happy. They're going to get married. They're going to have kids of their own. And grow old. Just like us, someday. <laughs> We get to watch it all. It's one part of our lives that we can't screw up. <laughs> hey, we have a lot to look forward to. Mm.